This is the second part of a three-part series. If you've not seen the first part where we covered the similarities between Noteful and Color Note, be sure to check out the video. We'll have a link to it in the description down below. Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless X, a channel dedicated to easing your digital transformation. In today's video, we'll be going through 10 reasons Noteful is better than Color Note. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. Noteful is more steady than Color Note. From the homepage, its modern icons make it a more elegant app. We also like how minimalist it looks. Color Note is cluttered with redundant tools. The many pen colors, extensive settings in your app's workspace, and the ruler tool, which serves little to no purpose, given the app has an excellent shapes tool. It's hard to take Color Note seriously as a note-taking app because of how it looks. Even though we shouldn't, we often judge a book by its cover. There is more to it than that though. To better organize your workspace, Noteful allows you to reposition the toolbar to the left, right, top, or bottom of the screen. To get an even more minimalist look, you can hide the status bar. The app also allows you to move your tabs to the bottom of your iPad. Color Note allows you some degree of UI customization. You can choose whatever color you want for the user interface. We thought it will do something as eye-catching as switching to dark mode. Unfortunately, only some toolbar icons changed. The real change happens to your tool settings. You can even change the background behind your notes. Most of Color Note's UI customization doesn't contribute to a better user experience. There are extras that we can do without. Still on app build, Noteful is a much more stable app. It has fewer hiccups and bugs, making it more convenient. Both apps can erase per stroke or per pixel. Color Note's pixel eraser is smoother. They can also auto-deselect to revert to the app you were using before the eraser. Colonus eraser size adjusts with a simple tilt of your Apple Pencil, which is better than Noteful's fixed size approach. You can also erase items using the scribbling gesture available in Colonut. It's an excellent choice to have. However, this gesture is always a hit and miss in every application that supports it. Although Noteful doesn't work with the scribble to erase gesture, it does give you more control over which parts of your notes you delete. You can erase the highlighter alone, shapes only, or any combination you like. The eraser in Color Note is not selective. Noteful's lasso tool is more selective than its eraser. You can select text boxes, Photos and shapes, handwriting, and highlights only. You can also pick up any combination or everything on a page. You can then drag and drop them to other apps. And Noteful also supports dragging and dropping into the app. Color Note, on the other hand, can't drag anything out of the app. Even the lasso tool is limited. It can only pick up handwritten notes and their highlights or everything on the page. Noteful zooming capabilities are unparalleled. Color Note zooming range is, therefore, 
limited compared to Note 4. However, we love how Color Note shows how much you zoomed in and the ability to snap to different zoom levels. Note 4 also features a zoom tool. It's a brand new feature and we couldn't be happy about it. The zoom tool supports the following. Auto advance with a page margin for its starting point. Navigation arrows on the zoom toolbar. Writing tools. Left hand mode. And right to left writing. Items on a page are considered layers in Note 4. You can theoretically move some handwriting behind or in front of an image. Unfortunately, ever since we began testing Color Note, this feature has consistently failed to work. For digital note taking, Note 4's layers are a game changer. We recommend watching our video on the differences between flashcards and layers. We'll have a link to it in the description down below. Layers are an advanced method of organizing the information in your notebooks and documents. If you accidentally enter information on the wrong layer, you can simply move it to the right one. The applications for this feature are endless and probably require dozens of dedicated videos. In both apps, you can scroll vertically. Horizontal scrolling is available in Note 4 as well, and switching between the two modes is a breeze. Bookmarking pages is a simple way to ease your navigation through your notes. It helps you find important pages faster. Both applications let you bookmark your pages, rename them, and rearrange them. Color Note also lets you choose an icon and its color for each bookmark you create. You can also change the page you're bookmarking without returning to the workspace. It's helpful in case you accidentally bookmarked the wrong page. Quick Bookmark allows you to quickly save pages with a single tap, perfect for when you're short on time. Outlines are organized bookmarks that are used to build custom contents pages for your documents. You can create outlines for your notes in Note 4. The app nests them to add additional levels that make it easier to navigate documents. Outlines are therefore more useful than bookmarks, but unfortunately, Color Note doesn't have this feature. Page editing is a little cumbersome in Color Note because you can't modify multiple pages at once. Your page editing capabilities are limited to changing the page template and applying the template to all new pages, which is something you can do in Note 4. Where Color Note duplicates pages, Note 4 copies and pastes them. You can reorder your pages in both apps, but it's easier to do in Note 4, which displays more pages on your screen than Color Note. To see even more pages in one glance, you can zoom out your thumbnails in Note 4, which you can't do in Color Note. You can also do the following things with your pages in Note 4, which you can't in Color Note. Copy the page template of the page you're currently on. Import documents into your open notebook to add the imported document after the page you're on. Merge notebooks. Select multiple pages for editing. Rotate your pages. Export or share specific pages. Color Note limits you to exporting a range of pages or single pages. 
In Notful, you can pick the exact pages you want to export out of the app. And finally, you can extract pages to new notebooks in Notful. Both apps support multiple instances, meaning you can open each of them twice. Colonote, however, can't open the same notebook twice. It kind of defeats the purpose of having multiple instances. Notful, on the other hand, can open the same notebook twice without a problem. The tabs in Colonote are a little confusing. They take some getting used to. Notful has more intuitive tabs that are simple to use and are much easier to understand. Color Notes saves some of your notes in iCloud Drive and others on your device. The notes in iCloud Drive are accessible on any device. Notful, on the other hand, has a superior setup. All your notes sync via iCloud and all of them have a local copy. Both apps can display your notebooks as thumbnails, but in color note is the only option you have. Thumbnails tend to fit fewer documents on the screen than lists. Lists are therefore more convenient. In Notful, you don't really need to use lists because you can resize the thumbnails on your homepage. Both apps support an infinite number of folders within folders. Notful's side folder structure is a faster way to navigate folders than color notes setup, which requires you to get into your folders to find what you're looking for. Particularly since color note doesn't have universal search on the homepage. We really like how in color note you can access your homepage documents and folders without leaving the app's main workspace. Notful, in addition to folders, can use tags to organize your notebooks and their pages. Because they are universal, you can apply them to any document or page in the app. We'll get into why tags are better than folders in a different video. It's important for a note-taking app to offer both syncing and backup features. Color not only has syncing, for some of your notebooks. Noteful doesn't have the best backing up options because it only backs up to Google Drive. It's not ideal, but it's better than not having a backup for your notes. For that reason alone, I wouldn't use Color Note. A backup gives me peace of mind that helps me sleep at night. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so you don't miss the final part of this series where we'll be telling you why color note is better. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you, fantastic human, for watching. See you in the next video.